Hey guys, before we get into today's video, um, I just want to let y'all know that unfortunately the game audio for the Gunslinger Joe section of the video did not record. Um, my voiceover will still be over it, but there will be no uh, audio to go with the gameplay, which isn't that big of a deal, but yeah. Um, so, see you in the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, uh, Freedom Chronicles DLC. This is the last episode today. I am hunting for the last gold and readables, and also uh, grinding for perks. Um, now, for the Gunslinger Drill 1, I only have one gold and one readable that I'm missing. I've looked around a bit at the beginning here. Um, the starting room is right over here, and the first readable is in this room here. I thought this was glass but you can just vault right over it. Um, there's some armor. Um, I haven't, I don't think the gold's in here. I think it's just the readable. Um, Uber Bowl advertisement, Sunday, March 13th, 1960. Springfield, Ascent, oh, achievement. Read the defense. Find all readables in the Adventures to Gunslinger Show. Uh, RB Berlin versus FC Peoria. Come see the RB Berlin, the world's number one football club, in person. The world champion will take on UBFLA champions for the rights to be called the best team in the American territories. Attendance is mandatory for burger residents of the Springfield area. Failure to attend will result in severe penalties. Sklavs are not permitted entry and must register for a work exemption to view uh, event broadcast. So there's the final readable. Um, so I haven't found the gold yet. Um, I'm going to try to find it myself, but I might just have to look it up. Um, in terms of perks, I'm not going to be showing me grinding for all these perks. I will probably give like uh, some tips on what I have found to be good for grinding with them. But you're, I'm not going to make you sit through me getting probably like 100 grenade kills. So um, I'll be back when I find the first gold or if anything interesting happens. Okay, so for his perks, his perks are um, getting heavy kills. Um, grenades, I found it's best to, um, if you throw it at them, they're just going to jump out of the way. Um, so it's best if you directly hit them with it, then they're going to fall over. They won't be able to run away and you should get the grenade kill. Dual wheel kills, um, overcharged health, just make sure that um, you're picking up health packs during the fight. Combat takedowns is just killing enemies on combat. Um, they're all pretty straightforward. What I would, when you're grinding, what I recommend is if there's a commander, um, letting him sound the alarm and getting as many reinforcements as possible um, just so you can work on grinding these in one area. Um, I am playing on the easiest mode because I've already beat this and it's just going to be easier for grinding. Okay, so I just found the, uh, the first gold. Um, it's in this, uh, this first room where you first break through the wall and you fight the Nazis and then once you break through the second wall, it's going to be in the back here in this box. Um, the, here is the, uh, the mission objective. It's just right behind you and in this box here. And there's the achievement for the signing bonus. Find all the gold in the adventures of Gunslinger Jump. There's my first overcharge perk. So once you get the perk, um, the health uh, decreases slower. So there's some grenades here. So I just wanna make sure I'm not wasting any, I'm just making sure I'm, making sure I'm picking up as many as possible. And there's my third heavy weapon kill perk. Now he has the diesel gore. I'd say the diesel gore is probably the best heavy weapon. Okay, now here you are supposed to use the the Panzerhund to kill everybody, but you can. It's a lot easier just to grind for stuff. You keep all your perks. So if you die, um, or if there's a section that you find it's easiest to get one of these. Um, and just keep reloading and you can just grind for it like that. 
I do find the hardest perk to be the grenade perk to get. And I think that's all the uh, heavy weapons that I needed. Yep, so that's right. So once you get all the, once you master the heavy weapons kills, you get increased magazine side for detached heavy weapons. So that's the easiest one I would say to get. Next easiest is probably the dual wield kits, which is probably what I'll go for next. I will reiterate, I am playing on the easiest mode, just because it is easier to get the perks. So that's why I'm just, that's why I'm just in the middle of the road shooting them and nothing's really happening. Ow. Like that. <laughs> well, I did not. <laughs> I did not see this <laughs> the first time. Died too fast, I guess. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Punched him. <laughs> Okay, I did not know this was a thing. Oh, I missed it. Oh, okay. Well, okay then. Well, I didn't see that the first time. And I got, only got as far because I'm in the easiest mode. So, <laughs> yeah, let me know. Okay, so um, actually, the first mission crashed, and every time I tried to load into my save, it would crash. So I just moved on to the second. kills that. Okay, now I am in the third volume. Still grinding. Um, about almost halfway through um, the dual wield. We got two more tiers for the overcharge. Combat takedowns will be easy. It's just the grenade one that's going to be the most difficult. It's just like you gotta find the grenades, and then you actually gotta get kills with the grenades. Okay, so I just got all my overcharge kills. So the mastery for the overcharge is a slower deflate on the health overcharge. So the more you get that, the easier it'll be to do that thing. I like, and the I got it like instantly once I got to your like three or four, I got it pretty quickly. Got about 100 kills left for the uh, dual wield. Um, I'm just gonna have to find a spot to grind for this, and this one will be pretty easy. Okay, so I found the best way for grenades is you wanna look at your feet while you throw them, and they'll just kinda roll in front of you, and it'll just, it won't like bounce or like fly off into nowhere. All right, so I've determined that volume three is the best to get the grenade kills from. Um, let's see. Um, I'm about halfway there with the grenade kills and I'm almost there with the dual kills, but there's, I found the most grenades on this one. So especially at this door right here, they pile in. Okay, right, so I just got mastery dual wield kills. Um, that gives you increased total capacity for carried ammunition. So all I got left is grenades and the combat takedowns. So the combat takedowns is just melee them while you're fighting. I just got 20 of those and then I've got about 50 grenade kills left. So it's combat takedowns just. Especially on the easy mode, it should be pretty easy. I guess don't sprint at them because then you'll just kill them like that. 
Also, try you can position yourself between of them between you and the enemy, and their bullets will hit them instead of you. And there you go. That's all the combat takedowns done. That one's the easiest one. Um, for that one, you get uh, increased speed for generating health. So now I just got the grenade one. Um, I'll show you where the best grenade spots are. Okay, so the best places to get grenades on this level, um, the beginning of the space bit uh, starts you off with three. Three, and then there's this two more over here. And the more grenade kills you get, the the more you can carry. So it just, like I said, it gets easier. So I would probably to, to farm the grenades, just I would say the beginning of the Venus section is the best part. This is probably the most boring way, but it's also probably the quickest, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's right so I'd say it's best because if you wait where you kill the commander down here they'll come down that hallway there and it's best just to go for it there wait till there's a couple of them yeah Okay, this should be the last time I need to farm for the grenades, and then the Gunslinger Drill will be done. So, one last time we start here, at the barrels at the beginning of the Venus section, take down this guy, uh, softly throw a grenade at these guys' feet, come down here through this wall, this hallway, take out the commander, and you should just need to wait for them to come to you. Um, there will be the uh, the dog that comes. That shouldn't be a problem. There's one more. Huh, where'd you come from? It should be easy. Sun with a can. Great. There you go. That's another way you could do it. If they're coming, if you have cans, I don't have cans, but you just stun them with a can, and when they're on the floor, just throw a grenade next to them. Okay, but that is all the fruits done. Uh, so yeah, increase grenade capacity, and that's hundred percent. Volume gold rebolts perks for gunslinger drop. Next, we will be doing. Uh, Major side of death, and we are at 89%. Okay, so now we are in the Diaries of Ancient Silent Death section. In this section, the perks are stealth takedowns, which is easy. As you can see, I already have almost all of them just from playing through the game. Just got five more. Um, headshot kills, um, again, another easy one. Throw knife kills. Um, so this will be like the cans and Gunslinger Joe, except the knives actually kill them and actually do something. Um, I already have the quick commander kills, and I already have the prone kills. The prone kills, I feel like, would have been the hardest one to get. I was dreading this one. I didn't know that I already had it. But, yeah, apparently, probably from uh, that last section of the main game that I did that I kept dying on, I got all those from. Um, and then in terms of gold, I am missing the third gold in the gamma base and the read wolf in the gamma base, which... Who could have guessed? Um, so I'll be going through um, probably just the first two levels to get my last uh, perks, and then I'll be going through the gamma base to get these. So first I'm going for the stealth kills. Um, probably the easiest way to get the headshots is stealth headshots, 
with your pistol when you're in the south sections. And the light is still freaking out. Oh, hi. Again, I am playing on the easiest setting because that's just the best way to grind for this stuff. all my uh, stealth takedowns. I now have 50% increased movement speed. I have two more headshots and a lot more throwing knives. And there's all my headshots. So now I have increased damage when aiming down sights, which I actually use that a lot. Okay, so now I just have knives. Okay, so right now my max is three. Casa Central. I wondered if I was up to par after all these years. You can also pick up your knives after you uh, use them, so that's useful. Oh, yeah. What? There we go. That took three knives to kill that motherfucker. The Paragon Studios office building looked exactly like the place a wanker like Lorenz would fester. Okay, so in the uh, in the Uber in the commander's office up above this stage area, they all file into this door, so you can just stand here and throw knives at them all day long. There we go. Damn, I already got thirty. All right, so this place is pretty difficult to do just with throwing knives, but it is a good place to farm for them, so. Okay. Whoa, calm down, doggy. All right, okay. just a couple more knife kills away. And there we go. So there, so now I can hold up to five knives. So yeah, uh, these are probably the easiest perks to get in all three. Of all, uh, all three uh, DLCs. So I'm going to exit. Now all we have to do in the Volume 3 Gamma Base is find the gold and redos. Okay, so for the collectibles, I am using the uh, I'm using the uh, Steam community page about where the uh, collectibles are. I'll link it in the description. Okay, so the first gold is through this door. I just um, I did this first terminal here, and now I'm about to do the same turn here. The alarm's active, so there will be some enemies on the other side, but once I clear them out, I will show you where it is. Alright, so I have cleared everyone out. So the last goal that I missed, the third one, is over here under this fucking pipe. <laughs> How the fuck? So like that. And there's the gold. And there's the achievement. California gold. Okay. So now I am missing readable 19, 21, and 24. Let me find those. Okay, so this the third readable that I'm missing, that's where I entered the level in. You just go right across. This is the first command area. There's a newspaper right here. General Dunkel moves from Californian to Moon. After the recent ter terrorist attack in Californian, General Dunkel has decided to move his base of operations to Moon Base Gamma to more effectively oversee the efforts to crush the remaining pockets of insurgents in the area. This move will not give us an overview of the glorious efforts by our soldiers working to protect the public and keep the peace in the American territories, the general said in a telephone interview earlier this morning. The Fuhrer himself previously declared the unrest to be contained to a few degenerate outcasts that this was a good opportunity to flush out any remaining sick elements still clinging to their perverse idea of the old America. Okay, so the next real missing here is the console where you uh, do the first objective to the left. Here's the room with the Panzerhund. It's right here. Here's the dead Panzerhund. It's right here. 
Uh, Fatherland Prophecies premiere brings out the stars. The premiere of the new adventure movie Fatherland Prophecies in Los Angeles Tuesday night was filled with Hollywood stars. The buzz around the movie has been extremely positive with people who have gone advanced screenings calling it a return to form for director and actor Charles Lawrence. The film takes place at the end of the war and follows a soldier of the Reich who has to fight the prejudices of the American people as he liberates their country but in the end wins all their hearts. This movie is a labor of love. I thank you... A thank you letter to the German people who have done so much for the American people, said Charles Lawrence in an interview earlier today. Okay, now I'm missing one more. And this is the very last one. Okay, so here's the generator room. There's the dead guards. If you go over to this side, opposite from the door. It's right here. Maintenance technician's note. Investigation complete. Find all readables in the diary's main side. General, the life support system that makes Moon Base Gamma habitable has a fatal weak spot. It requires an enormous amount of cooling, and the system providing the cooling is made up of very old parts that we need to replace. If the two cooling coils that power the cooling system break down, it would spell the end of the life support system and the end of all life on Moon Base Gamma. Therefore, I request resources for replacing these cooling coils immediately. Hal Hitler, maintenance technician, overst. Well, that tells me what I was supposed to do next in the story. Okay, well, that is all for Ancient Silent Death. And we just have the uh, Captain Wilkins one. Okay, we're here with the final one, the Captain Wilkins one. Um, in terms of perks, we need to kill enemies by using flames, such as the diesel goer. Um, that one might be difficult, I guess, once I just find a diesel weapon. It won't be that hard. But, um, stunning mechanical enemies uh, by use of electrical damage and destroying them while getting incapacitated. So I need to find uh, robots and throw my grenade at them. Environment kills killing enemies by making use of explosive objects. That one's gonna be difficult. Only in two. Um, enemy grenade returns. Killing enemies by using their own grenade. All right, that one's gonna be hard. And I already got headshot kills. So yeah, these ones are difficult. Uh, and then in terms of collectibles, I don't have any gold in the first one. I need all of it on the second one and one in the last one. And then I have one readable in this mission. So I'll be looking for this, and then I will be grinding for some of those perks. Okay, so I'm right at the beginning. You start there, you jump on this container here, and then go inside the container that you're standing on. And there's a gun, and some ammo, and this of course, The Owl's Note. And final card. All readables in the deeds of Captain Wilkinson. Um, Target located. Code letter from the Overwatch League. Target at located. Preparing acquisition plan. Location in Christian Naval Base. Target could strike at any time. Prepare for casualties. Okay. Well, that's all the regional sins. Now I just have the gold. And I'll be trying to uh, grind for these uh, perks. Um, and I'll let you know the best spots to do that from. Everyone was gathering in one place. Party. Party this way. Uh, okay. Well, it turns out my grenade also does burning, so you don't necessarily need the diesel before Jesus Christ. Everyone was gathering in one place. Party. Party this way. <laughs> yeah, so just above the classified note, if you just have all of them chase you into this room, you know, just get some grenades, it'll be really easy. Bring one place. Party this old. There you go. All the burning, so I don't need the diesel shit now. Okay, I am in the second volume now. I need all of the gold. <laughs> and I think that's all I need here. Um, in terms of perks, I now have the burning one. This one, it's just hard to find exploding objects. Uh, there wasn't any robots in the first one, and no one will throw grenades at me for this one, so... 
Well, let me see where the gold is. I'm still using the same, uh, the same guide. Okay, so we're coming up on some robots here. Lots of robots in here, so this will be good for our uh, grenade stun perk. I only have one. I don't know if I can get any more in here. They're also next to exploding barrels, which is useful. So probably lots of reloading here, since there's robots ranks to exploding barrels, so. some grenades. Yeah, there's lots of grenades. There's one grenade there. Okay, I'm gonna be farming in this room for a bit, so I'll see you when I'm close to... How close am I? Uh, I just need one more of the robot and then all this. So here's the robot. There's that. Now I just need to get the environmental. So the best way is drop down immediately look at this red barrel right here and shoot that and usually get all three of them okay so the last one I have is the granny kills and I haven't got a single one so I'm probably gonna look up how to do this one okay so I'm in this big room that has two commanders I entered in from over there just go over this train and it's this first cargo on the right I don't know how I missed this right, there's the gold Okay, now for the next one. Alright, so I just entered this room. Um, I entered in from down there, just killed the first uh, big gun. The gold is up on this catwalk right here. Okay. Two more. Alright. So I'm in this red room now, just exited the vent. You can see the gold right down there. So there's this drop here, drop down there, and you get the gold. Nice. Okay. One more. Okay. So I found the best way to get the uh, grenade return kills. So I just blew up the second gun, and um, Clive has just crossed me. So, if you go up here, um, they can jump up, but it seems like they mainly throw grenades up at you. See, there's one, and then just throw it down there. And you won't, you might not always get a kill, but eventually. See, there's one, just throw it down. See, there's two. And there is four guys in this ambush in total. And if they come up, just shoot them. So you probably will get at least one or two from this, if not four. We got all 10 grenade kills. And that is all the perks. So now 1.5 seconds before any grenades explode. Uh, Reduce damage while aiming down sights, reduce damage taken from blitz and diesel, reduce damage from laser weapons, and reduce damage from explosives. Okay, so if we go from the room where we farm for the grenade kills, there's this vent right here in this locker room. Go up, and there's the gold right there. Nice. And that was the last one. Okay, so we can move on from this mission and just go straight to the U-boat to get the final gold. Okay. So I'm just where you drop down, there's two guys here, and there's two commanders here. There's some red bells there. Go to the left, there's this pipe here, and there's this duct. Go through here, and there's a little robot man wearing a helmet. And the final goal. And achievement. Stipend gain. And all the golds. Okay. So now we go to our extras. That's everything. Exit to the menu. Okay. So, Gunslinger Joe, 100%. A 
Yep, Silent Death, 100%. And finally, Captain Wilkins, 100%. So that is it. That is me grinding all the perks and the gold for the DLCs that I missed the first time around. Um, it was a fun game. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other better um, tips for grinding for perks, let me know in the comments for other people maybe. And the next game I'll be playing, like we said in the um, ending of the main series, um, will be the Youngblood uh, game. That means here we'll be playing together. So we will see y'all in that. Goodbye.